All right, and we are back with another making video today. This time, just a regular skirt for myself, nothing cosplay related, which is exciting. I don't actually do this a lot. This may be an item that I take to Disney when me and Steph go back, but I also have some other stuff planned, so maybe not. Always remember to fold your pattern kids when you're done cutting. Seriously, don't let them sit out. It makes it so much more difficult. This pattern is nice and easy, just two skirt pieces and two waistband pieces, so not a whole lot to cut out, which is my fave. I hate cutting patterns, just an FYI. And this is the fabric, which I promptly remembered I needed to wash. So I stopped working for today to go and do that. And here it is all washed and ironed out. This fabric is so fun. Came from Joann's in the States. Now you'll see I promptly realized that it is much thinner than most fabrics and the full length of this skirt was just not going to happen. So it was time to shorten the pattern, which I didn't mind too much. It's pretty easy. I just fold it along this shortened length in line. I don't know if that's the total proper way to do it, but here we are. It worked for me. And second piece, which I did the same thing to as well, just fold it along the bottom when I pinned it up. And then the waistbands, which were nice and easy and I could just stick on. The grain line on these made like no sense to me and didn't help, so I kinda made it up a little bit, except for the ones that are on the fold. Maybe not the most professional way to do things, but such is life. And more cutting, thankfully not a lot of pieces, because once again, I hate cutting! Yeah, cut that skirt out, girl. Nice and even along the lines. Alright, and I had just gotten my serger back for the first time, and it was time for me to use it. It unthreaded while I was doing the first piece, and it took me quite a while to get it figured out and threaded again. But I eventually did on my own, which is nice, because then I could keep working without having to take it back in. Then it was time to interface on all the waistband pieces to make them nice and stiff. And by all, I mean one side of them, not all, all, all. <laughs> and time to start sewing the skirt together. You start with the center back, as always, leaving space for the zipper. Your girl still holding pins in her mouth like an idiot. Yeah, don't forget that back stitch. Time to iron open your seams. Make sure you do this, guys. A lot of people don't iron. I definitely didn't at first. Steph failed at me. More pinning. This time the side seams of the skirt. Much easier. You just do the whole thing. No needing to stop for a zipper. Boom. More back stitching and sewing the seams together. And then taking your pins out. Oh wow, look, more ironing the seams. <laughs> I do both sides, so first I press open these, and then I go to the good side and I give that a press just to make sure everything is nice and flat and open. Now it's time to start the waistband. I, for whatever reason, forgot to film me actually sewing the waistband pieces together, but I did that. This is the uninterfaced side, which is now going onto the skirt. And time to sew that down, making sure everything is nice and flat, there's no buckles. Take those pins out, girl. And pressing that open, well, pressing that up towards the waistband. Yeah, doing the good side too. That nice clean line. And that's how it looks so far. That is pretty much almost a skirt. Now it's time to put the zipper in. I haven't worked with anything other than an invisible zipper in a very long time. So it was interesting to try and do this again. Not too difficult or anything. So in that zip zip in, taking the pins out as we go. And then it was time for the second side. Pinning that in again. There's so much pinning and sewing, it's the worst. 
And sewing that side in. Boom, there's your zipper. I definitely did it wrong up in the waistband. I want to clarify that right now. It folded over weird in the end, but such is life and that's the way it is. <laughs> and then it was time to sew the interface waistband together, which apparently I actually got some footage of, so go me. And ironing that open as well. Yeah, clean press. Looks good. And good side, as always. And then it was time to pin that to the original waistband. The bottom had to be uh, folded up and pressed as well, which as you can see I did, but also neglected to film. But that's a thing, make sure you do that. And then we sew it on. Do, 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 do. Again, making sure it's nice and flat, you don't want any buckles. Time to do the understitch, which is sewing the uh, backside to the uh, folded inside. I don't know what to call that, the seam allowance, um, which helps it stay the way it is. Then you fold it to the inside, which is definitely when I noticed it was wrong with the zipper, but that's fine. I think you were hand, supposed to hand stitch it down to the seam on the inside. I did not want to do that, and I decided since there was going to be a hemline at the bottom, because I didn't do lining, I didn't mind having a stitch line at the top. So it's time to hem. You press it down first and then pin it and sew it. I neglected to get footage of me sewing this down, but it's just a straight line along what you ironed. It sucks. I hate it. But there you go. And here's the finished product. Super cute. Not too too short even though I had to shorten it. Definitely in the running for coming to Disney, but we'll see depending on what else I make. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye!